Hello there, how are you? So I am back again with another update for all of you once again. This update is for those individuals who are going through and are enduring something very very difficult, something very very arduous and painful at this point of time. It's for those individuals who are feeling broken hearted, are actually broken hearted, feeling lost, confused, strayed and perplexed for obvious reasons here. This is for those individuals who got backstabbed either by other people or by their own counterpart here, who are seeking support and assistance, who are just seeking some sort of help and comfort on their journey at this point of time. So the guidance I have for you is that it's a phase. You have to learn how to deal with it and go with the flow, go with it actually. It's not like you'll be able to find any kind of shortcut here or some sort of miracle which is just going to change everything overnight. The miracle you need, the breakthrough you need is something you'll have to create on your own. God's going to assist you in creating that and in manifesting it. However, I see that there's some work you've got to put in. That's why you are in this situation at this point of time. That's why you're experiencing whatever you are experiencing. There's no doubt about the fact that whatever you are going through at this point of time is difficult, it's painful, it's depressing, it's tormenting and whatnot. It surely is a very dark and uh, modifying phase for you. You've got God here on your side. God is standing behind and besides you, so you do not need anyone else. I see that many of you are seeking friends or family, but you've got no one as such around you. There's no one to listen to you. There is no one to understand you, accept you for who you are and talk to. That's what you want the most. I feel like you want to share what you are dealing with and are facing at this point of time. But there's no one around you. There's a reason behind that. God is keeping you alone and isolated for a reason. This isolation is required for you to go within and find your own answers. Actually, it's given to you so that you can learn the benefits and the blessings of being alone on your own and connecting with your real true self. There's something you need to work on, whether it be working on yourself or on some venture working on perfecting your craft or some sort of artistic trait you've got. There's definitely something here that needs your focus and attention at this point of time. And it's not your counterpart at all. If your counterpart is the cause behind your suffering, they backstabbed you, broke your heart or something, you do not know what's going to happen next, you have no clarity, nowhere to go, no one to talk to, you don't know what's coming next. It's all for a reason. There's a reason behind it. This negativity that's clouding your judgment here, this haziness that's clouding your thoughts here, is there for a reason. Because you need to slow down. A lot of you wanted to live life like others. That's why divine forces pushed you in this dark state or brought it in, didn't prevent it from happening so that you could turn towards something else or take a new direction for good. Because this new direction you are going to take is going to change the game for you. It's not like you cannot dream for a better life. It's not like you cannot wish well for yourself. It's not like you are going to remain in this state forever? No, definitely not. Instead, I see huge success coming your way, happiness coming your way, a lot of financial stability and even power coming your way. But for that to happen, there is some work you need to put in. At this point of time, you should not fret over what happened, though 
it's easier said than done and there are going to be times when you wouldn't be able to control your emotions or help yourself but feel tormented and depressed and sad or sorrowful about what's happening you wouldn't be able to help yourself in any way there are going to be moments like those it's not like you cannot have those moments you can but it will be up to you a choice you'll have to make to either get over it work on it work on yourself and focus on something that's productive that's positive or is going to be productive and positive as i said it can just be working on yourself focusing on yourself healing yourself or on some other venture project or craft of yours in some cases you've got to work on yourself as well as on some venture some project or on fulfilling and pursuing your purpose including and involving your special abilities skills talents and some gifts you've got that's what you've got to do here because that is the way for you right now that is the option available for you i do not see anything else left for you here it's like divine has conspired things in such a way where you wouldn't have anything else left to do or focus on except yourself or on this purposeful venture of yours for a reason for a very good very bigger reason you might not yet be able to understand right now this is going to make a way for your reunion to happen or for you to do something legendary something meaningful something outstanding exceptional or marvelous this is the solution you need this is the answer you need right now you do not need anyone else except god right now and god is standing with you supporting you assisting you and guiding you all along on your journey so even being in such unbearable pain even having so many swords on your back even when feeling lost and confused you've got to focus on yourself you've got to be a with whatever is happening because once you come out of this dark depressing phase and period there's something wonderful waiting for you and you will be the creator of it you are going to build it with your own hands that's what i see that's what you've got to do here in this situation no matter how hopeless your situation looks at the moment many of you are completely clueless and hopeless about your reunion and your future there's a better and beautiful future waiting for you and i see reunion here as well for you marriage here with your counterpart marriages i mean for divine counterparts that's what i see but if you think that something is just going to happen miraculously and you do not have to work on yourself or you just have to sit in one corner wish for things to be different manifest it I do not see anything working out for you that way. That's not the way. That's not how things are supposed to work out. God is trying to bring answers to you, something to work on. But you are focusing on something else. You are making yourself confused and perplexed by focusing on things which do not matter. That can even include your counterpart, their life, or other people involved in your situation. You do not have to focus on them. it's not needed at all instead it's just going to keep you held back from doing something positive and productive it's just going to keep you distracted upset hurt and feeling burdened because the more you focus on them the more you think about them the more you think about the past the more depressed you'll remain or become the more confused you'll remain or become and everything's just going to look hazy for you everything's going to look gloomy for you however you can change your situation and i have already described how you can do that by focusing on something positive and productive by building something or building yourself that way everything is going to change you've got to slow down and it will all happen at a slow pace so that you can remain protected and work in peace there's a reason why this separation was brought to you there's a reason why you're getting isolated and forced to be alone so that once you come out of this phase you can lead your life as an example 
you cannot work with other people you're not meant to you are not built that way because the kind of wisdom you've got the kind of talents you have the kind of knowledge you have amount of knowledge you have people cannot digest it people cannot handle it instead i see that if you go around collaborating with people at this point of time you know teaming up with people at this point of time they are either going to suppress you or oppress you or are going to try to win over you by framing you conspiring against you and dragging you down you are getting protected from those kind of situations and circumstances that's why you lose jobs friendships or even family members this is the reason behind it you might not be able to understand it right now but you will in hindsight so focus on the work you might have a job good for you if it's serving you spiritually and it's not corrupting your consciousness good for you keep keep doing that but if it is not remove yourself from the picture no matter how slow you move or how slow you make the progress it doesn't matter because in the end i see you winning and flying high with flying colors sooner or later that's the outcome you are going to achieve manifest and create for yourself so kindly try to understand it all this difficulty is given to you for a reason it was a protection and redirection for a good reason so try to understand it try to look into it go deeper into it and get to work because you have work ahead of you you have work in front of you to focus on just avoid looking at the other things or other people or on the other side it's not going to serve you in any way shape or form if you want to know how you can heal yourself and bring some sort of miraculous breakthrough or outcome this is the way this is the answer you need work on something perfect your craft or yourself your inner being bring out the best from yourself within yourself or from your mind that's what you've got to because i see you leading lives changing lives leading people building an empire you know i see you on top that's not a joke though it is easier said than done it will take good amount of blood and tears from your end metaphorically speaking it will take sleepless nights it will be overwhelming and arduous at times it will get overwhelming and arduous at times but in the end it will all feel like a piece of cake for you you'll feel good about yourself and what you're going to achieve what you're going to create because it will not only serve you but others as well in a beautiful way in a miraculous of manner and i see you attracting and receiving your union as well after a while after you achieve this and make history create history after you become something a lot of you might feel as if it's unfair because this thought may pop up in your mind about your person where you might assume and believe that they got away after doing you wrong no that's not going to happen i see them struggling as well suffering as well in the same manner as you've suffered i see them crying sobbing sulking whining with a broken heart just like you did it's not like god's going to bless you and then give you to your counterpart to wreck you all over again no they'll as well have a right to living hell after that and only if they change for good you'll have your reunion otherwise you'll be leading your life on your own as a positive example that's what i see always remember union looks different for each and every individual it's not always a physical romantic relationship though i see that being a possibility here still i am giving you all kinds of scenarios to look up to and keep in mind so that you do not become obsessed and even more confused than you are okay so understand it all and know that it's all a blessing because what you're going to do what you can do is something a common person cannot that's why it's all happening with you and for you your own good so keep going okay this was your update for today i'll be back sooner than later till then take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye